There are those who believe that Ukrainian dance can be traced back to ancient times. From the vast steppe land north of the Black Sea to the mysterious Carpathian Mountains, Ukrainian dance goes back to before the time of the ancient princedom of Kiev in Rus, through to the time of the Hutsule, and to the Kozakie, and to all peoples who inhabited the area of Ukraine. Ukraine means borderland and has indeed been influenced by its neighbors on all sides. The Hutsul dance Arkan is shared with the dances of the Balkans. The Krakowiak comes from Poland and the Polka has connections with the Czechs. Ukrainians adapted these dances to suit their own sensibilities. Other dances are original to Ukraine. The Hopak and Kozachok originated in the central steppe region, while the Hutsulka and the Kolomeka originated in the mountainous Carpathian region. Dancing was often a ritual event accompanied by singing and performed at seasonal rituals including Kupalo and during harvest, while caroling and at Easter. Dance also occurred during special occasions like weddings and other social gatherings. But dance as a performing art also evolved, first and foremost with the Skomorohe during Kievan Rus culture. In the 1800s, a major cultural awakening took place. Folk culture moved into the theater, where stage plays saturated with the romanticized life of the Ukrainian people became wildly popular. Dance became a symbol of national identity, where peasants and villagers had danced to express life and happiness. On stage, actors and dancers enjoyed performing because it was Ukrainian and because audiences enjoyed it. The climax of many of these theatrical performances was Hopak. The first wave of Ukrainian immigration to Canada took place from 1891 until the beginning of the First World War. Encouraged by a Canadian government that was anxious to populate the empty and fertile prairie, Almost 200,000 mostly illiterate peasant farmers came from the western Ukrainian regions of Halicina and Bukovina, then under the Austro-Hungarian Empire. They left their homeland for social and economic reasons. When they began to arrive in Canada, they brought their dances with them. They settled across the Canadian prairies on homesteads around small towns just like Thorsby, Leduc, Devon and Kalmar. Eventually, this area, heavily populated by the descendants of Ukrainian pioneers, decided it was time to create a Ukrainian dance club. In 1976, the Alberta Zirka Ukrainian Performers was created. In the year 2006, Zirka reflects on how Ukrainian dance has changed since ancient times and since the days of those first pioneers. <laughs> 